In this experiment, we're going to be determining the rate of aerobic respiration in some small organisms. First of all, we're going to determine the mass of the organisms that we're using, which in this case is blowfly larvae, otherwise known as maggots. It's possible to use any living material. Um, if you use plant materials such as sprouting mung beans, just make sure that they're not photosynthesizing by wrapping the respirometer in tin foil. This is the respirometer set up. The maggots are placed, first of all, into the bottom of this long boiling tube. Into the top of the tube, at a safe distance from the maggots, we're hanging a small muslin bag containing soda lime. Soda lime is caustic, so we don't want them to be able to uh, expose themselves to it. The soda lime will, ex will absorb any carbon dioxide that the maggots produce. The end of the respirometer tube goes into this special orange dye solution. We're using something called Brody's fluid. As the maggots respire inside the tube, they consume oxygen. The carbon dioxide that they're releasing in return is absorbed by the soda lime, and so the pressure in the tube falls, and that sucks the orange dye up the respirometer tube. You can see it moving on the left-hand side. We need to record the distance moved and the time taken. Ideally, this ought to be repeated multiple times in order to obtain reliable results. It's possible to manipulate the temperature by putting the tube containing the maggots into a warm water bath, being very careful not to make it dangerously hot. Um, here we're not going above 30 degrees centigrade. As expected here, the rate is slightly faster at the higher temperature. If you want to, you can take two or three more repeats from uh, the next few seconds of video. If we know the radius of the respirometer tube and we know the distance moved by the die, then we can calculate the volume of oxygen used very simply just from pi r squared l, uh, where l is the distance moved. In between experiments, you can reset the apparatus very easily without disturbing the maggots, just by pushing a little bit more air into the tube using the syringe.